YouTube. What's going on? Ready P coming back with another one. Let's get it. You know I gotta keep the fire coming. Today I have a great one. Today I have a great one lock in. Today I'm gonna talk about how class shapes behavior in people. Yes, how class shapes behavior in people. And we could be talking about social class or class in general. You know how you carry yourself. You carry yourself with respect. And oftentimes you equate, you know how you carry yourself, that class with your social class. It kind of goes hand in hand. So today we're gonna to talk about how social class shapes behavior in people. Yes, and this is the case. You see this is very glaring. If you've ever played, let's just say, on a travel team where you see people from different places, people come together from different places. And when people come together from different places, it's inevitable for everyone to not, you know, be from a different social class. It is what it is. Like if you played on a travel team and it's like an AAU team, like basketball or something like that, and the best kids from the state all on one team, something like that, or even high school, high school, because you're around a lot more people. When you're around a lot more people, it's a lot of different, you know, classes, whether it be lower class, middle class, upper class. You see that in high school or rather it be a travel team, something like that. This is when you see class. This is when it's very glaring to you. This is when it's very glaring to you. And one thing I can say at the end of the day, one thing that brings everyone together or not everyone, one thing that brings certain people together, regardless of race, regardless of race, one thing that brings everyone together is class. Yes, class. You can... There's different language for each class. Lower class, lower class and middle class are, I would say, sorta of in the same boat. Not, not totally, but your middle class, you're more closer to lower class than you are upper class. You are, you are. You probably a few paychecks away, you know, that you, don't get at your job away from being lower class. <laughs> so that's what I would equate middle class to you. You a few mistakes away from being lower class, you know. But one thing I will say that brings everyone together is class. It's class. Or I keep saying everyone. That brings certain groups of people together. It's class. Class brings certain groups of people together. So you see it in the team setting. You'll see it in the team setting, like with sports. The kids who, you know, been sheltered and their parents made sure they had everything. You know, those kids that sit together. Those kids that sit together. And you may have kids that didn't have as much, you know, but they're on the same team as the rich kids because it's maybe an AAU team, a travel team, or something like that. They'll they'll sit together because the language is different. You can't relate. It's hard to relate to someone when you haven't been through what they've been through. Simple as that. Simple as that. When you're lower class, you know the struggle, you know the grind, you know what you, you know, had to do to get it out the slums, all that type of shit. And when you upper class, shit, all you know is, you know, your parents picking you up, you know, BMW, you know, Mercedes Benz, Lexus, shit like that. When you're upper class. So this shapes behavior though. Class shapes behavior. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. You do have some people in lower class that just have class. They just carry themselves in a respectful way. They're clean, you know, and they just carry themselves as the, if they were upper class. You have some it's exceptions you do but more times than not you can tell the difference when someone's lower class or upper class just by i'll just say their lockers their lockers in high school you have a lower class guy upper class guy the lower class guy 
his locker's going to be just a little more junky. It is. He's going to throw his jacket in there. It's going to be in there every which way. You know, he's not going to have as much structure, you know, in his locker as the, the upper class guy. Because you know why that upper class guy is going to have a little more neatness and have a little more structure? Because that upper class guy, when he walk in his house, he got to take his shoes off. Yeah, we about to get real. Now, that upper class guy, his, his parents don't allow him to wear shoes in the house. So, this shapes behavior. This, this adds a bougie to you. That's why you equate upper class people as bougie. Because it's like, hey, take your shoes off at the door. We ain't playing that shit. We ain't playing that shit. Where someone from the lower class, if they were to go to the their friend house that's upper class, they wouldn't even know sometimes to take off their shoes. They wouldn't even know, you know, if it's a nice fur that they have, they wouldn't even know, have no idea that they shouldn't be stepping on that fur, or things like that. They would have no idea. They would have no idea, real. But that upper class guy, if he go to that lower class guy house, he'll just say, just from what, you know, goes on at his house, he'll say, hey, do you need me to take my shoes off? Even though his house could be junky as hell, fucked up, all type of shit, he'll say, do you need me to take my shoes off? Just because the courteous, he's courteous and it shapes your behavior. Class shapes your behavior. It does. It does. And... For the most part, I've always, I've always had good girlfriends. And why do I say that? I've always had good girlfriends and we were always compatible for the most part. Because there's a certain class, there's a certain, there's a certain mystique that you look for when you have a, when you, when you have class. There's something that you look for. And, and if they break that, you know they're not for you. There's certain things that you look for when you have class. And you know if they don't have that, they're not for you because there's a certain understanding that you must have when you have class. It is. There's a certain understanding that you must have. And when you have class, you know who's compatible with you. But when you don't have class, you just want to try everything. You do. Because you don't have no real foundation. I'm just being real. When you don't have class, you don't have a real foundation. So you'll try anything and think everyone is compatible with you. And this is not the case. This is one of my realest videos because I'm saying some of the realest shit. Wow. <laughs> this is one of my realest videos. Ooh, I'm going to come back to this one. This is some real shit. But yes, when you're lower class, you don't have a real foundation. You don't. So you think everyone is compatible with you. You try, you know, thinking everyone is for you. And that's not the case. It's not the case. It's not the case. Lower class, nothing wrong with being lower class, but there's just a certain understanding that lower class must have as far as you know, behavior issues and why they, you know, not compatible in relationships a lot of times. It is what it is because there's just a certain understanding that you must have in life. And once you start to build in life, you, you start to understand what's really important. You do. And when you're lower class, it's, it's just hard to grasp those concepts. And shit, I put myself in lower class too, but I can... I can see both sides because I've been around upper class people like most of my life, like I have most of my life and it is what it is. You know, just to humble myself, I'm lower class too. It is what it is. I ain't talking like I'm some rich man on YouTube. I'm lower class too, but I can see both sides. I can see both sides. It is what it is. I can take that. I'm lower class. Witty P is lower class. It is what it is. <laughs> well, let me know what y'all think. Drop something down in the comments. Keep the fire coming. Keep it rolling. I ain't better than nobody, but I work harder than a lot of people. I tell you that. So that may make me better than, 
you know, some people because I work hard. But let me know what y'all think. Drop some down in the comments. Keep the fire coming. Keep it rolling. Come like, subscribe us so you can help us share the video. You know, we're going to knock another one out. Let's get it. Pop.